In 2021, actor screenwriter Dion Cole, who's well known for his role on the comedy series Blackish and its spin off Grownish, purchased his current home in Los Angeles for $5.7 million. This mansion spans over 7,500 square feet and it's built in an Italian villa style with luxury features like an elevator, resort style swimming pool, and much more. Considering his multifaceted career, Cole has earned himself some stunning places to live over the years. Prior to this place in 2019, he sold a mid-century property in the Woodland Hills neighborhood as well. Before we get into this video, I wanted to point out the gorgeous bracelets that I'm wearing from Otter Spirit. They've been the perfect accessory for the new year, bringing all the positive vibes. These bracelets are not only authentic grade A gems, but they also contribute to a good cause. I'll share more about my bracelets at the end of this video, as well as a discount code, so stick around. Known for his sharp wit, infectious humor, and undeniable charisma, Dion's lifestyle is full of laughter and success. Actor screenwriter Dion Cole has most recently appeared on screen starring as Alfonso in the 2023 film adaptation of The Color Purple. But he's well known for playing Charlie in the ABC comedy show Blackish and its spin off Grownish. Formerly a member of the writing staff for The Tonight Show with Conan O'Brien, Cole grew successful as a writer, actor, and comedian. At the heart of Dion's world is his kingdom of laughter. As a seasoned stand-up comedian, Dion has conquered stages around the globe, leaving audiences in stitches with his razor-sharp observations and anecdotes. From sold-out shows to late-night TV appearances, Dion's comedic timing knows no bounds. When he's not busy entertaining, even Dion needs a place to unwind, so it makes sense that he's rewarded himself with some stunning California real estate over the years. In 2021, Dion Cole upgraded to his current living situation, paying $5.7 million for a coveted estate in the Encino area of Los Angeles. Approximately six months before selling a Woodland Hills residence for just over $1.5 million, Cole next invested $2.5 million into a slightly larger 5,800 square foot home in the Coldwater Canyon area of Studio City. After flipping and listing that home, he decided to really embrace opulence with his current mansion, a grand 7,500 square foot abode that's a serious upgrade from his former places. Veteran stand-up comedian, writer, and actor, twice nominated for an Emmy for his writing on The Tonight Show and Conan, can enjoy just over an acre of hillside land and true privacy and peace on his current property. Described as an Italian villa, Dion's three-story home is a hidden gem, shielded from view by a lengthy gated driveway. Boasting seven beds, and seven full and two half bathrooms inside. His home features a double height entrance with an ornate wrought iron staircase, a majestic formal living room with a carved stone fireplace, and an expansive dining room tied together with an epic chandelier overhead. A covered patio off of the dining area provides amazing views extending all the way to the San Fernando Valley Mountains. Dion's property boasts an array of impressive features, including a spacious eating kitchen with modern appliances, a family room with a fireplace, a home office, and a media lounge with a walk-in wet bar. The top floor homeowner suite occupies its very own wing and offers up an area with a morning bar, a beautifully carved fireplace, a private terrace, two fitted walk-in closets, and a spa-style bathroom set with polished marble and a jetted garden tub. According to Paul Salazar of Hilton and Highland, who handled the mansion, the property's outdoor features, like the illuminated tennis court, had attracted a ton of interest throughout LA. Salazar highlighted how rare these offerings in Encino were, emphasizing the property's unique combo of an expansive acre, a tennis court, and its breathtaking views. He said about Dion's home, this is one of the best view tennis courts in LA. Certain buyers specifically seek a tennis court property and we attracted interest from buyers across various locations who coveted a premier tennis court property like this one. To appeal to today's modern home buyer, Salazar took strategic steps like including a fresh interior repaint. Moving outside, the estate's grounds offer mature landscaping, a secluded swimming pool and spa surrounded by high hedging for ultimate privacy, as well as that tennis court, which is situated on a high plateau offering panoramic views. 
Dion Cole's lavish life is on full display in this luxury home where entertainment and sophistication seamlessly intertwine. Now let's take a step back and look at the former homes of Dion Cole, starting with the one he lived in just prior to that Italian villa. Located in Studio City, $2.52 million a few years back. He listed it more recently in 2021 for the increased price of $4.1 million. Constructed in 1994, Dion's former home has undergone extensive updates over the years. But its most remarkable feature, the breathtaking views spanning the San Fernando Valley remains timeless, and these are accessible from nearly every room. Boasting over 5,800 square feet of space, the two-story home is made up of six bedrooms and five bathrooms, shielded by towering hedges and a gate. The back of the half-acre hillside lot also ensures privacy on the deck, where you'll find a pool and transparent railing. Stepping into the home, the double height entry welcomes visitors with a dramatic staircase and elegant chandelier. The interiors seem to seamlessly connect the living room, the dining room, the family room, and kitchen, all of which are full of natural light thanks to statement windows that frame the views of the valley. The kitchen, which has a bright and white aesthetic, boasts stainless steel appliances, and a sizable island with seats. Additional dining space is found in the breakfast nook, complete with French doors leading to the yard. Dion's one-time master suite offers a private balcony, peninsula-style fireplace, and a spacious bathroom decorated with marble counters and floors. There's even a games loft elsewhere in the home, while in the office, with a separate entry, presents the possibility of turning it into a recording studio. Finally, back in 2019, Dion parted ways with another charming home, this time located in the Woodland Hills neighborhood of Los Angeles. This mid-century style abode sold quickly after two months on the market for $1.56 million. A comedian was asking just above at $1.6 million. Acquired by the comedy writer and Old Spice spokesman over three years ago for $1.23 million, this single-story 1960s property sprawls almost 3,800 square feet. There are also four bedrooms and 3.5 baths. Protected by locked wooden gates, the courtyard entry, while minimally landscaped, offers privacy. Once you enter the home, a tile-floored foyer leads to a wood-floored living room featuring a built-in surround sound system. A double-sided white marble fireplace is shared with the dining room, seamlessly connecting indoor and outdoor living spaces through picture windows and glass sliders, while the space's white walls and large windows create an open and airy ambiance. A nearby den accommodates a pool table, the kitchen shows updated stainless steel appliances, and a separate breakfast room opens to the backyard. The house is smartly designed with three guest bedrooms set on one side, including an ensuite and a family room. Then, the master suite occupies a private wing on the left side of the home, complete with sitting room, office, fireplace, and glass sliders to a private patio. The walled backyard boasts various sunny and shaded patios, a swimming pool, and behind a tall chain link fence, a well-lit basketball court. While Dion ultimately sold this home, the enclave provided the perfect backdrop for celeb style privacy, as well as working from the comfort of your own residence. After checking out Dion Cole's homes, that will bring today's videos to a close. But before we wrap things up, answer this question for me. Would you prefer a one level, more open concept home or a home with multi-levels throughout? Let me know in the comments below. Don't forget to hit subscribe and turn on your notifications so you never miss a video. Follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all in another one. Bye.